Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we'll be answering the question, what is a circuit? If you already know what trails are, then this lesson should go pretty smoothly. And if you don't, then I think you'll still be able to follow along. So here we've got our beautiful graph G, and as usual with lessons like this, we are going to be intrepid travelers making our way through G. So let's say we start at vertex one, and then we go over here towards the middle to V6, then we go down to V5, then we come over here to V4, we go up to V3, then we revisit V6, then we go up to V2, and then we return to our starting position at V1. Then what we have just described is a circuit in the graph G, and it is also a trail. So what makes this a circuit? What makes it a trail? Well, let's name and describe it. We'll call it C for circuit. Then we can describe it as a sequence of vertices in G. Of course, the sequence that we traveled through. So we started at V1, then we went to V6, then we went to V5, then we went to V4, then we went up to V3, we went back to V6, we went to V2, and then we went back to V1, finishing the circuit where we started. Now, as a quick recap of trails, a trail is a sequence of vertices in a graph such that consecutive vertices are adjacent in the graph and no edge is traversed more than once. So you can see in this circuit C, consecutive vertices are adjacent in the graph G. So if we are at one vertex, we can only go to adjacent vertices. If we're at V3, we can go to V4, V6, or V2, but we can't go to V5 because there's no edge joining these vertices. And then also, we didn't traverse any edge multiple times. We did traverse two vertices multiple times, both V6 and V1 we encountered twice in the circuit. So we see clearly that it fits the definition of a trail. You might remember that we say a trail is closed if its first and last vertex are the same and we call those the endpoints. So if its endpoints are the same, it's a closed trail. So then finally, what is a circuit? A circuit is a closed trail of length three or more. The length is just the number of edges encountered in the trail. So we see in our circuit, we can count the edges up very easily, and we see that there are seven edges. So it has a length of seven, so it's a trail, it has length three or greater, thus it's a circuit, as we've been saying. And that is why it's a circuit, because it is a closed trail of length three or more. It is a sequence of vertices in this graph, such that consecutive vertices are adjacent in the first and the last vertex, V1, V1, the first and last vertex are the same. And then lastly, no edge is encountered more than once. So when we were up here at V2, we went back to V1. We could not have gone back down to V6 and then over to V1 and still had a circuit because then we would have traversed this edge, this one here, and this edge multiple times. So that's what a circuit is. It's a closed trail of length three or more. So I hope this video helped you understand what circuits are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet.